Hi, this is George Whittem in the West with East West Audio Body Shop. And here I am down at Redondo Beach Harbor to see off Armando Valdez Kennedy, who's going along on the X-Pac 8000 expedition. They are sailing from here all the way across the Pacific Ocean, about 8,000 miles on sail power alone. No engines of any kind. But why is this interesting? Well, Armando happens to be a full-time working voice actor, and he has to still maintain his clients while he's out at sea. So we're gonna go on the boat in just a minute here and figure out exactly what it is he's going to do to pull this off. Uh, we are sailing uh, approximately 8,500 miles from California to the Philippines to raise awareness for dolphins, the ethical treatment of dolphins. And uh, the captain is Jim Sullivan, a captain and environmentalist. Uh, we are going to the Philippines. We're departing as soon as possible. I'm gonna be running a mobile voiceover studio from this 30-foot sailboat. The x 8000 for me is about trying to cross the longest non-stop downhill run in the world from the Philippines to, I mean, from LA to the Philippines, which is the ancient route, the route of the Spanish scaling ships mm. in the 1700s. And of course they had no engines as well. So we'll be the first modern day and the very well, the smallest sailboat, a sail without engine to the Philippines and sailing right through Typhoon Alley where there's more tropical storms than any place else in the world. It's interesting, this is what makes our voyage even more uh, interactive. It's called the, um, our tracking device from Ion Earth. Ion Earth has supplied us with this unit they use on off-road races, Baja 500, Iditarod, uh, Alaska uh, races, which they're doing right now, actually. Not only does it give the position, it gives the speed of the, of the vessel, like it's going five, six knots. It also gives the heading, and also gives the, the temperature in real time. Mm -hmm. I would really encourage People log on to xpac8000.com. That's xpac8000.com, and they'll be able to actually go back and see our route where we went with the line too. I actually met Jim just over two weeks ago. I read this article in the Argonaut about this guy who was going to sail engineless, nonstop across the Pacific Ocean um, to raise awareness about the ethical treatment of dolphins and how. They should really be allowed to stay in their natural habitat. And when I was 19 years old, I crewed with Sea Shepherd, and I was very, um, very involved. It was a huge part of my life, and throughout my life, it's it's always been really important to me. And towards the end of the article, there's a little. Uh, the reporter asked him, um, "So, Jim, are you going to go alone?" And Jim replied, "Yeah, I'm going to go alone unless the right person comes along." And I just thought, "I'm the right person." So anyway, I tracked him down at uh, the Delray Yacht Club, and. Uh, Actually, I tracked his number from the Delray Yacht Club, then found him in the marina in Marina Del Rey. And obviously, you know, you got to do that little, there's a little dance you do. I mean, I didn't know the guy. He didn't know me. So you got to make sure that, I mean, we're going three months into the Pacific. You know, you got to make sure that you can trust this guy. Um, and after about eight days, we kind of said, okay, I think, I think we can do this. You know, I think, you know, we feel comfortable in it when enough with each other that uh, we respect each other as sailors and as um, technicians and as environmentalists and uh, we respect each other's vision. Uh, there may be a little bit of variance in there which hopefully will lead to some interesting discussions on camera while we're underway. Okay, so this is my um, mobile voiceover studio. Uh, I got my MacBook Pro. I'm taking a Mac Air for redundancy. I've got my Sennheiser 416. I got my Sony cans. And the, oh, the Apogee One, I forgot to mention. We got the Apogee One. Yeah, I've had a, a lot of success with it. And I've, I've used this exact same setup um, from Poland, from London, from Scotland, from the North Sea. You know, originally tested it out on the Offshore Odyssey this, uh, this past summer, and it worked really, really well. As a matter of fact, one of my clients didn't even know I was gone. So that's a benefit. <laughs> and then, you know, redundancy on everything because... There's there's no way to get any parts out there any or any tech help. Um, so, what uh, is your software of choice? Uh, I use Pro Tools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been using Pro Tools for a long time. And then for uh, sending the files back, uh, we've got a, um, a Skipper 150 uh, satellite uh, transmitter, which works from anywhere in the world, as far as I know. And correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is the first time that a voiceover studio is going to be professionally operating from a sailboat in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I think uh, I think this is the first time. I'm real happy about that. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, this is this is pretty much my setup and then up here 
there's I'm gonna drop a towel, this towel. We're gonna stick it Velcro and drop it down here. Got a pillow here, got a couple pillows in there. I'm gonna put a couple more pillows in here and then another uh, blanket right here and that is going to work to dampen the noise as much as possible. When we're out there in the ocean there really ought not be too much noise. Um, as you were saying, George, there's going to be some vibration uh, from the hull, but we've tested it out. We tested it out this past weekend, and it, the boat rides real, real smooth. So hopefully, um, unless you know we get in a storm, but if we get in a storm, I'm probably not going to be. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to be recording if we get in a storm. So these two right here, these black ones, are what Jim was planning to take by himself. Uh, there's no engine; it's all under sail, no power. So he didn't really need. Uh, there's no, there's no autopilot. There's nothing. Almost everything is run. Um, uh, just solar powered so that's all he was gonna take um, and then I joined and obviously I need power so I don't know if you can see back there but there's another there's two four six it's a six bank I mean a six battery bank which is gonna power everything that I need and hopefully we've got enough reserve power and I've got uh, two um, solar panels on deck and Jim's got one solar panel on deck flexible and we're hoping that that's gonna be able to recharge everything so that we don't have to use a generator it, I think you've, you had a chance to speak to Jim, and, and he's very passionate about the cause, as am I. You know, it's been something that, like I said, you know, Sea Shepherd, I crewed with Sea Shepherd almost 20 years ago, and, uh, and it's, it's time to get back out in the ocean. <laughs>